This far out from the sun? People don't give a good goddamn what planet you're from. The Expanse is about man's colonization of the solar system. It takes place 200 years from now. Our grandchildren's great-grandchildren's world. This is our future, and you can see the fingerprints of our world on it. Here you go, pal. Yes, it's set in space, but essentially it is a story about the people and the characters and what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis. Do you have to go? Yes, I do. I'm sorry. We've managed to get out to the moon, and out to Mars, and out into the asteroid belt, but the same qualities that allow human beings to conquer space and move out into the solar system, the things that create conflict. Do you want to continue to play games? Or you want to talk about how we can help each other? The story starts off as a missing girl case. So what's my contract exactly? Find Julie Mao if she's still here on series. Detain her and ship her home. Kidnap job. My pleasure. The case winds up pulling together a detective and this ragtag crew of ice haulers and politicians. This mystery draw these people together in ways that they could never imagine. There's Jim Holden, who's the second officer on the Canterbury. He's the kind of guy that people might want to follow. He doesn't really want to be that guy, at least not in the beginning. James is on an everlasting quest to find a good cup of coffee in the middle of space. Ugh, criminal. And then Miller is detective on a space station in the asteroid belt itself. We had an understanding, detective! A, a, an arrangement! He's that classic, noir, hard-boiled detective who has just been beaten down by life. Fish me up. It's a lot of winnings. For a lifetime of losing. Now Mr. Rala is back on Earth, pulling the strings at the UN. You're two heartbeats away from running the government in this planet, yet you're accountable to no one. How does that happen? Very carefully. These are normal people who never expected to set off the chain of events that could wipe out humanity. The weapons are bigger, the stakes are much larger, but we still make the same mistakes. The future is dirty and it's messy and it's human. This is a very personal perspective of very grand events. Ships get destroyed, people are at the brink of war. This is a really ambitious thing to have taken on. It's this transformative moment in human history. I've worked 35 years and I've seen a lot of films. I haven't seen anything like this. We make it all this way, so far out into the darkness. Why couldn't we have brought more light?